Now the main difference between the B1 installation and the A1 installation is with the B1 the side flashing goes on first so that the window nail fin will go on top of the side flashing and we like that best in our testing we've discovered that a B1 install will perform better than an A1 install. Now others may disagree with that and that's fine. A1 install can be just great and we'll show you how to do that at a future date. But for now we're going to do a B1 install. And once this side flashing is in, we will get our window in. All right, now this rough opening looks great. You can see that our side flashing is up, our lower flashing and our bib and our membrane pan has been created and we're ready to apply the window. All right, we're gonna do this uh, window installation demonstration using Simcoe uh, products. This is a Simcoe wood window. It's a very fine product. It's a wood window with aluminum clad and it's got a nail fin that rotates or pivots and this is very common they're not the only company that does this and what we're going to show you is how to correctly uh, install this window and seal it up so that it cannot leak all right let's start with the application of sealant behind the nail fin we believe that because this nail fin pivots that there's an opportunity for water to get in at that pivot joint so what we're doing is applying a small quarter inch bead of sealant right at the rotation point, the pivot joint of this nail fin. This will prevent any water from getting in around the yeah, window. This is the bottom of our window. Since we're going to use a membrane pan, we need to have gaps in our sealant. So what we've done is we've marked three inches to the right and three inches to the left. And this uh, three inch space to the right and left will not get sealant. The rest of the lower nail fin will get sealant. And what you find is that we're applying about a half inch to five eighths inch bead of sealant to the outboard edge of the nail fin. And this sealant bead looks great. Now the reason we have gaps of sealant at the lower right and lower left is because we're creating a path of least resistance for water to escape. And you can see he's applied sealant at the side nail fins to the outboard edge and the top nail fin is treated exactly the same as the side nail fins. Half inch bead to 5 eighths inch bead of sealant on the outboard edge of the nail fin. You'll find this is about a half inch bead of sealant. It's positioned towards the outboard edge of the nail fin and this is exactly the way your sealant should look. You always put the sill of the window in first and tilt it into place. And if you've correctly applied your sealant, you'll have plenty of squeeze out. Now it's very common for windows to have an open corner at all four sides. We'll show you how to correctly handle this in just a second. It needs to be correctly handled. <clears throat> you cannot leave it like this. We like screws. However, if you want to use nails, use them. But if uh, you have your choice, I'd use screws. Uh, exterior screws, you start with one lower corner. And then when your inside guy tells you that you're nice and level, you'll apply a screw through the opposing corner, keeping fasteners about three inches away from the corners. And then you verify that your window is level and then we begin the fastener application around the perimeter of the window. We go to another upper corner. Once your inside guy tells you you're plumb, plumb, you apply a fastener through the upper corner of the window. Re-verify plumb. Go to the opposing corner. Get your fasteners in. Fastener spacing should be nine to 18 inches all the way around the window you are going to put fasteners through your top nail fin just the same way you do your sides and bottom. Now notice as he applies this 
we have squeeze out up to the point where we left it open. And again, this is going to be our path of least resistance. We're creating an escape route for water at the lower portion of this window because we have a membrane pan. Now many of you may have heard the old uh, urban legends that you don't screw the top nail fin. That would be wrong. The top nail fin should be fastened and sealed exactly the same way as the side and bottom nail fins are. See that our fastener spacing is really nice here. We're right at about, from fastener to fastener, we're at about 9 inches. And as long as you're within 9 to 18, you ought to be just great. Now if your window manufacturer specifies something different, uh, go with what they tell you. If they give you something different from what we've just given you, otherwise go 9 to 18 inches and you'll be just fine. Now it's time to begin the application of our chevrons. Now you'll notice that these nail fins uh, have been left open. <clears throat> this is the way they ship. Uh, this is expected and many window manufacturers do this. Now it's time to properly handle this condition. Now what you'll find is your window manufacturers, specifically Simcoe and, and others as well, will supply you your what's called chevrons. Chevrons are adhesive neoprene corners that are designed to solve this application, this problem of open corners. You need to use your chevrons. Never, ever skip using these chevrons. Please don't forget this. You need to use your chevrons at your open nail fin corners. If you don't use your chevrons at the open nail fin corners, you will have a leak. It's extremely important to use them, even at the bottoms. Now we've said that we're creating a path of least resistance at the bottom but you still use your chevrons at the bottom. Now this is considered an enhancement to the B1 method because we're not going to apply a peel and stick membrane on top of our nail fin. We're going to use sealant. Now what we're going to do is apply sealant straight down the line that the fasteners create or straight across at the fasteners and then we're going to butter this flat what this does is it provides terrific protection against subsequent trade damage. Now you might notice that our putty knife is radiused on the corners. And it's radiused on the corners so that we can get a really nice application of sealant at that pivot joint. Remember the pivot joint is potentially uh, an area where water can get into your system. And if you butter your sealant the way Percy's doing it here, the sealant will kick into that pivot joint and this cannot leak. This is a bulletproof method of window installation. You know often builders ask us about a bulletproof method of window installation. Usually it's been guys who've been stung by by some sort of a leak and the only way that I really know how to supply that information or supply a bulletproof method of window installation is with a buttered cap bead of sealant, particularly if you're using a wood window with a nail fin that pivots. Now this is starting to look really, really good. You can see the protection that you've got here from a siding contractor or a carpenter that's going to picture the window frame with, uh, or picture the window with, with trim. Think 2x4 trim. The 2x4 has nails go around it that's going to go right through your nail fin. This does a terrific job of protecting you from that. In case water gets behind our system, it collects in our pan and this is where it's going to escape. This window installation is excellent. Now remember, because we have put a cat bead of sealant on top of our nail fin, we will not apply an SAF product on top of this. Some contractors would want to apply a peel and stick membrane on top of their nail fin. And I'm, I understand that, but we've replaced that with sealant. Now that we've buttered our sealant on top of the nail fin, you do not have to apply subsequent flashing on top of the nail fin. Hey everybody, Gene here. Here's your Synergy video code. It's 2001 2001. Write that down, it will be on your final exam. Thanks.